How did it feel just to be back out there and get to work again? Uh, like I was telling the guys, man, it's a it's a complete honor. It's a privilege to be back on the field. Um, <laughs> my circle, my family, uh, everybody know what I've been putting into this. So I also told them that means a lot. You feel me? And I'm just happy and excited to be back out here with them. So you spoke to the guys after practice? Yeah. Anybody I was, else have anything to say back? Oh, no, nah, man. Just me, just me talking and just showing my consideration. And, you know, just everybody that was with me, supporting me, giving me encouraging moments and words out this process, I just appreciated them and thanked them for that. So that's it. Just decided to be back. What's your journey? How tough was the journey to get yourself back in and get out there? <laughs> words can't express the feeling or, you know, the journey of what I've been through. You know, for those who's been around me during these couple months and just knowing the hard work I've been putting in, they know. But I just want to give all my glory to God. Sean, what was the toughest point in this whole thing? What, what, what point were you like, man, this is really hard? Um, like I said, I really can't put it into words, you know. The journey itself, everybody that, you know, went through an injury like this could, you know, speak for it. There's really no words you could put into it. But like I said, I give all my glory to God, and I'm happy that, you know, I'm, I'm at where I'm at. I know you're a goal-oriented person. At what point did you circle the second week of camp as, as when you wanted to return? Was this kind of the plan for you? I mean, I've just been taking it day by day, just trying to check off uh, as many boxes I can. And I've been checking them off. I've been staying on track, and boom, it just ended up being this time. You got a month until the opener still. Do you feel like that gives you a pretty good runway to be available in Chicago? No, uh, we got to see. Still taking it day by day, but, you know, I'm just happy, you know, that today's my first time out there. Did you Were you able to get, like, a new perspective, being able to stand on the side and watch everything go down? What, what did you learn these last nine months? Um, new perspective. Just uh, you know, I've always been a hungry player, so it just you know sparked a little bit more fuel up my. But you know, I'm just excited to be back. Like I said, you, we keep saying back, but do you feel back? Like, where are you at percentage-wise? Oh, it's really no percent. I've been taking it day by day, but I'm out looking good. How's the knee feel? Hmm? How's the knee feel? It's feeling good. Everything's feeling good. What have you seen from Van Ness while you've been watching him? Um, a guy that's coming, you know, every day to work, man. He's hungry for knowledge, and as you see, he goes 110. percent You know, sometimes I gotta tell him to slow up, but you know, he's a guy that's hungry and he's learning day by day. I'm excited about what you can what you can get out of Wyatt this season, in the second year. Oh uh, man, yeah, I've been excited <laughs> since he stepped into this building, just seeing his work, and it's just us for him to put the puzzle together. He got all the tangibles that we need, and he's gonna be a good player for us. Where have you seen his growth? last year this year? His confidence, man. His confidence is just understanding the type of player he is, the type of player he wants to be, and where he's trying to go. And he's around the right group of people up front, the right group of people around his defense and on his team to lead him in the right way. He's been doing the grand thing. I know you don't want to put any expectations on the future, but what would it mean to you to be available at week one with everything that you've been through? How much hard work uh, you put into this? You know, if that is the case, uh, that just tell you, you know, how hard, how hard my work been, and just, you know, just me staying dedicated, not missing no days, and you know, just trying to squeeze as much, as much as I can, day in and day out. What kind of numbers do you think you would have put up last year if you, been, if you were off to such a <laughs> monster start? Uh, you know, last year is last year. I just know I would have been, you know, high, would have been nice <laughs> to start, but you know, I got this year to uh, come up with. What I need to come up with. You want to count the two that he took away? Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> you good. Yeah. Throughout this offseason and camp, we've seen a lot of TJ Slayton and Nose and, and Devontae and then Kenny a little bit more down the edge. What kind of front seven do you think you're stepping back into? Will it feel like a whole new defense a little bit with Kenny there? Oh, uh, man, it's just. It's confidence, you know, everybody understand what they need to do, everybody understand their role, and it's just, I'm happy to see them blossom in the role, start getting understanding, start, like I said, it's all about being comfortable, and the more you're comfortable, the more you go out there and make plays, and that's what you're seeing right now, them being comfortable, and then working on their game and becoming themselves. Did it change anything for you and Preston, having Kenny a little bit closer to the edge? Oh, man, every time you see 9-7, they got to count for them, so, you know, that might be, you know, that it's off of me or Preston, but uh, you know when you're around 97, it causes a lot of attention. You talked about having more fuel. Up. What what was the feeling like getting back on the practice field? I mean, you've been on the practice field your entire life, but not like today. Did it feel different? What would it feel like stepping out there? Um, like like I said, uh, just show that my hard work. You know, all the boxes that I need to be checked, I've been checking them, and I'm still checking them right now, taking it day by day. But I just show you my hard work. I know you've been talking to Elton. And Dave about their process throughout throughout the time. They told you anything about what it's like to, to come in from this type of injury midway through camp and, and to have a successful return like they did? No, man, just take it day by day. But, you know, when it comes to me, I'm just focusing. I'm on my own process. Have you and Eric been able to lean on each other? <laughs> yeah, man. 
me, me and Eric, we got a nice little handshake. Uh, it's been, like I said, people that have been around me, and I understand I could a testament to his journey. He could a testament for my journey. He's been working hard and just seeing it day by day and just, like I said, watching him check out the pockets that he want to check off, man. This means a lot, you know, days that, you know, I might feel like I don't have enough juice, he's there for me, and then vice versa. So, you know, we pick up each other, and I, like I said, I just can't wait for him to touch the field because he's going to surprise a lot of people. I know, I know you're in day by day mode. I, I totally understand that. But what would it mean for you to be out there week one? Uh, like I said, man, that would just be a testament to my hard work and just me checking out the boxes day in and day out and just squeezing out everything I can in each day. What do joint practices, how much do you think they're going to help this team going to Cincy to, to see another offense? How much is that going to help this defense? Oh, yeah, you got to love it. Um, it kind of gets you into a game mode, you know, actually get to work on other people because around this time it can't be trying to kind of tie it going up, you know, against each other. You know, you get a different look, you know, get a little bit more energy. Who don't like, especially for traveling, you know, this is our first time traveling in the years I've been here. So that just give you a little juice, you know, just to show them how we playing ball in Green Bay. And I feel like just giving them a good look because we are going up to a good team, you know, defensively and offensively. It's going to be great. And I just can't wait to see us work. At any point in this process, have you gotten emotional, whether it was like, Day in, day out, going through the rehab, or even like, okay, you're ready to go. Was there any emotional points to this? <laughs> Yeah, throughout this whole journey, it's been so many. I really just can't, you know, tell you how many, but for sure it's been emotional. Like I said, I've been taking it day by day, and I'm, you know, all thanks to God. Rashad, do you feel like you need any preseason reps, or is that too much of a risk? Say that again? Do you feel like you need any preseason reps, or is that too much of a risk? Have you seen me in the preseason last year? Or the year before that? Okay.